Bob calling in from Germany. Uh, Bob, you are live on Truth Wanted. What's up? Hello. Uh, yes, uh, kind of unrelated topic here. Uh, what's the, what's your definition of God? When you say you're atheist and you like to live in a God, what's that definition? Because like I've been into countless arguments and we, we haven't figured out the definition yet. Yeah. So this is interesting. Uh, if you don't mind, Durante, I'll go first on this because yes. I call myself a very particular word. I call myself an atheist, and I use this word very deliberately. As an atheist, what that means is I can't even give an idea of whether I believe in a God or not without first defining what God means, because you're absolutely right. God has just as many meanings as there are people. Right. It has always been a fluctuating idea in human history. Sometimes it's a Christian God. Sometimes it's in uh, some other outside creator of the universe. Sometimes it's nature. Sometimes it's uh, metaphysical forces. It, it can be as many things as you want it to be. So for me to just say God doesn't exist without any prior context is kind of a meaningless statement. I really have to qualify that with what kind of specific idea I'm talking about. So honestly, it kind of doesn't matter for me because I currently don't recognize anything that I believe in as God. It's up to my interlocutor. In other words, it's up to the person I'm talking to to really define that for me and for me to understand whether I believe in it or not. If somebody says, uh, I believe in God, and I ask, okay, well, what's your idea of God? And they say, oh, it's nature. Okay, well, then I guess I believe in God, too, because <laughs> I believe in nature, right? But normally, that's not what I mean, for, for, for most folks, that's not what they mean, right? A lot of times, it's a God of the Bible, or, or, or you know, some other similar kind of concept. So it, it really all just depends on the context. I don't think you can like take in one definition of God and say, Oh, I, I don't believe in it. And then it's just universal for all things. That's why I use that word atheist to describe uh, my beliefs or lack thereof. Uh, so there you go. Uh, uh, Durante, what about you? Uh, yeah, I'll take a line from the evangelicals and say God is extremely personal, you mm -hmm. know, and so for every person, God means something extremely different to. And so for me, when I came to the conclusion that I no longer believed in God, it was a very specific God that I no longer believed in. But it was coming to that conclusion that also helped uh, brought me to the place that I was less likely to believe in any God that had a story similar to that God, which then kind of said, okay, well, all the Abrahamic faiths, God's probably I don't believe in them. And then I also came to that place where I don't have any evidence for anything supernatural. I've heard a lot of stories and I've even had a lot of experiences, but I now have somewhat of a neurological, psychological and sociological understanding of those experiences. So I no longer have an evidence yeah, yeah. for the supernatural. So when I think about this idea of God, I kind of go with where Dan goes there. The person who's asking me, do I believe in God? They would first have to define for me what they mean by God. And if they gave me something like, oh, God is the universe. And I say, I already have a word for that. And so I don't need an extra one. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I got, I got you. I got you. Um, okay. Can I ask something more? Sure, sure thing, Bob. What you got? Okay, you say you don't believe in, a, in the supernatural. Do you think walking on water is uh, supernatural? Uh, well, uh, walking on water with no mechanical assistance, yes. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, but, agreed. That, that's a, that's that's an interesting assumption that you say uh, mechanical assistance there. What if well, because I, if, if you put on like, I don't know, those, those those like board shoes, you know, like, yeah, you can like kind of walk on water. So, you know, that's usually that's the gotcha. Some people got like where they're like, oh, you believe in people that can walk on water. Yeah, I know. I'm talking about like unassisted human walking like foot on wave water. That's that's really what I mean. Gravity oh. defying. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so. Yeah, because so, basically that's flying is what we're talking about at that. Yeah, moment. yeah, this in some ways, yeah, yeah, actually, <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> is, is is turning water is turning water into wine possible? You think? Uh, well, you'd have to do nuclear fusion, from my understanding, um, <laughs> which is literally changing the individual molecules that make up an atom. Um, which usually is something only suns can do. So uh, for us on Earth, probably not. No. It just seems like a waste of good wine, if you ask me. 
A nuclear fission as well. I think you mean fission. Uh, but anyway, yeah. Yeah. So what, what I'm getting at is, is that um, sometimes what we call supernatural might might be might might be explained if we knew how it's done. Maybe maybe if we don't know how it's done, maybe that's why we call it supernatural. Well, sure. No, yeah. No. Yeah, I, I definitely agree there. The moment there is a natural explanation, I am here for it. And and the only reason I, I, I preference natural explanation, because at this moment, at this juncture, that's the only explanation that I'm capable of understanding, of, of grasping. And so, yeah, if someone showed me that it, there's a natural explanation of how we could walk on water, it's no longer a supernatural event and no longer uh, invokes the need of a God belief to believe in it. It's uh, physically possible at that moment. Yeah, but if, for example, you started to walk on water and the only way you could do it is by invoking the divine name of a god, you know, that might qualify you for supernatural territory. I mean, like, maybe yeah. there's a physical explanation, but, like, uh, you know, <laughs> there's some room yeah. for doubt, at least. <laughs> for sure. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Mm. Okay, Bob, was there anything else we could help you with before we let you go? No, no, that's it. Thank you guys for, for having me. So, yeah. All right, Bob. Thanks, Bob. I enjoyed it. Yeah, thanks for calling from Germany. I think it's like two in the morning over there for you. So I hope you can get some sleep, uh, whatever it, time it is for you. So, uh, But thanks for watching the show, especially to all the folks who watch over in Europe 